guys and welcome to our new YouTube video. So right now it's evening and I'm making food. I'm preparing uh, my trip to Belgium tomorrow. So I'm going to go tomorrow with Quinn and Pixu for a trek. And maybe one of them is going to stay there. And then most likely I'm going to bring Mario with me home. And that's not the only exciting thing I'm going to do on this trip because I'm going to try some horses for myself. Um, I don't know if you remember, but a couple of like last week or the week before that, I had like that I needed a horse for a friend of mine. And then, yeah, she found the horse. Thank you so much for that. But there is like a very exciting option in Belgium right now. There are some like top, top, top quality sport horses that are being auctioned out. So I'm going to try a couple of them. Uh, it's really, really exciting. There are like uh yeah top horses so they're they're like our reserve price i think the auction starts at twenty thousand, but the horses can actually not be sold for under sixty five thousand because i mean they are probably gonna be grand prix horses anyway so now i'm just gonna like prepare the food for the trip so um i don't have to like eat out or anything and i have to be safe from the virus i'm gonna make this like pizza stuff and then I have bought like um, some of course gonna make some wraps because yeah I'm a taco girl I love tacos and I have myself some potato chips that I'm gonna put in the wraps together with the chicken and everything and yeah also gonna eat them on the trip like I have two bags because I was gonna like uh, you take a little bit from one now and then bring the rest with me but as you can see, I already finished one pack. Uh, yeah. Need to consider eating a little bit more healthy, but I also am going to prepare a lot of food for Francois so that he doesn't have to like cook when I'm gone. I'm just like cooking and making it ready. And yeah, so I better get back to it. I will... Oops. It's okay guys anyway um i will see you guys tomorrow in the stable when i'm preparing quinn and uh big sue for go arrived at the stable my trailer is hooked on and we are just gonna get the guys ready to go so we i have laid out all the transport things they need on the ground pixie is gonna get those on too because you're very naughty to transport and we have the tail protections, the red stuff, everything. <laughs> Quinn is traveling with uh, bandages on the back and the red is uh, magnetic stable boots on the front. Yeah. And since he have uh, had his, uh, what's it called, foot broken, I used two pair of plates on him. So first I do like this so this one is ready put it between my legs then i take the thin one from uh, Ascadron and wrap it around and then i really wrap it around so it's double behind the tandem to protect the tandem extra good the same with this one so that the thickest part is behind the tandem to absorb shocks you know So I'm basically doing the same procedure on the other leg. So Quinn is ready with the bandages on both hind legs. And now I'm going to put on the Veradus Stable Magnetic Guard. I use these for transport. I think they are really good for transport because of the hard plastic in the back. And also since they are magnetic, he is actually getting a little treatment while he is on the road which is super so i don't put it on too tight or too loose i just sort of put it on because if you put on something too tight on the horse um they can actually get injured and you are then stopping the blood flow and why would anybody want to do that so okay and then i have to put this one on picture before 
I do the bandages because when he gets the bandages on, he's like, yeah, yeah, and uh, that's very dangerous. <laughs> he has kicked me in the head many times actually because he don't like it. But uh, I think that Nicole has to pause right now and help me with this because I'm not so talented to put it on. Since Pixu is quite naughty to transport, like he is good, but suddenly he can kick a lot on the trailer, he needs to get this on his hind legs. And I sort of just buy it at the coop, and that was <laughs> like that's something I say in the videos a lot. <laughs> then I just roll it to a ball like this. And I mean, he's already very grumpy because he understands what's happening now, and uh, he doesn't like it. But I want to keep him safe, so he does have to be okay with it and try not to kick me. Uh, but before I put that on, I'm going to put the bandages, um, these first and the big ones. So we just have to pause because it's so high up, so they need to take it down for me. So now I'm just going to repeat the same procedure as I did on Quinn with the bandages, making sure that I get the most part on the tandem because Pixie, you know, had tandem problems or I don't know, maybe he had and Quinn has like broken bone problems but I mean there is nothing is gonna kick the horse here because they can't do that with the front leg so what's most important is to protect the back part of the tandem and it's so exciting because it's the first video I'm filming with my new airpods can you guys believe it? How lucky, so cool. And I put it on, like so it's on, but again, not too tight. See by the post. because suddenly the foot can pop off and then perhaps I need to jump into the prince box. Can you go and get more of those blue ones? I need two more. Yes. I'm just putting in my helmet because I decided to bring my equipment this time in case I'm gonna under here in this bag I have like a cooling bag with all my food because I don't want to like stop anywhere and then in the front I have like my snacks for the trip uh, for the trip down just like today I have some love hearts and then in here I have my chocolate and actually I think perhaps I have one more chocolate in the back and I'm going to take some pizza too with me now some pizza and some wraps yeah here's another chocolate my pizza and a wrap I find that it's like important to have a lot of snacks when you drive so it doesn't become so boring so most of the things that can melt are in here and then I have rest of the things that can't melt down here and yeah down there are my love hearts and stuff so now we are ready to go check it out having my airpods in while driving anyway guys i'm approaching the swiss border so um i have been driving for like two and a half hour i 
guys, I already ate so much candy. I finished the bag of these sour things here, and I had like uh, two of these, and a Snickers, I had a slice of pizza, and a wrap. So I'm not hungry, but I mean, when you are driving, it's important to keep yourself fresh, to keep yourself entertained, and that's what I did. Look at this, guys. Take a carrot. Take a carrot, Gwyn. Still a lot of fresh shavings. Okay, he wants more. Pikachu. Now they're going to chill a little bit with the door open while I get an ice cream. Oh my god, guys, seriously, I just passed the border to Germany and then I was like driving into France because I want to go this way. And then in France, the police had just blocked the whole highway and was stopping all the cars. And when it was my turn to be stopped, I like show my documentation that I'm going to Ekitone with the horses. And they were like, uh, where are you? What's your nationality, madam? I but I'm from Norway, but I live in Switzerland. They were, oh, why are you not parle français? I but listen, I'm blonde. Be happy that I even can speak English. And they were like, okay, then they lightened the mood a little bit. And they were like, listen, we are closed here. You are not allowed to drive here. You have to drive to Germany. And I was like, but I need to go this way because I want to arrive in Luxembourg and take the cheap petrol and go to Starbucks. And they were like laughing at me so much. So they were like, okay, okay, pass, you can go. But if you meet another officer that is a woman or that is gay, you might have problems, but you're so cute, so you can just drive. So now I'm driving. So seriously digging the fact that the policeman said that I was so cute that if I met a gay police officer or a woman I might get a fine and not be allowed to drive here but he was like well you're so cute you just go <laughs> no he didn't kiss me but you guys know what I mean driving through the night guys okay it's not really night it's like 21:40. but look how beautiful the sky is we have arrived at Ekitam and now I'm just going to find my boxes and hopefully somebody is going to come to help to take my horses off. Anyway, normally Duke and Alf, no, Duke and Alf, I mean uh, Alf is down here. Hi. Alfie! Hey Alfie! Hey! Oh my god! I and look here! Oh my god, Mario! He's sleeping! Hello, Mario! And Queen are, Pixie and Queen are in their boxes. And look what they have on their. <laughs> All the horses are tucked in for the night with their rugs. Water caps are checked and Quinn is here. Hey Quinny! Just gonna check his water cap too. Good boy. And Alfie has also got his night rug on. Look how cute he is. And Mario too. They all have matching Bukas rugs. Good night, Mario. Outfit check! <laughs> I took a break from Ekiton because I forgot my stirrups at home. So I went to visit Inge and these are her foals. No, I'm joking. These are sheep, obviously, but very beautiful sheep. And who is this? She's like a big breeder. She's like one of Belgium's best, I would say, according to me. Who is this guy or girl? This is a Pompidou. Yeah. It's Comil Fon. Uh, Ooh. She's five years old. She's a little bit special, but she jumps really good. She looks great. Look at the nice place she has. That's her stable, horse truck. Over here is the foal. Who is this? It's a foal. It's a Fertofal. It's also a common foal. Out of uh, my favorite mare, Kalinka. Mm. So for you that doesn't know it, like Inge works at Eggitom. She's my friend. There she is. 
and uh, I was gonna ride the horses, but I forgot the stirrups at home. So uh, yeah, we went here. Who was the father? Special Paul. Special Paul. Hey. He's so cute. As you can see right now, I am jumping with Pixu and superstar veterinary Lothar van Lamsbrug is studying him and he's following really closely how he uses himself, what gallop he lands in, how he is cantering through the turn, how he's cantering when he's straight. Uh, so yeah, he is really paying attention. He's paying attention how he's stepping through his joints, how he's landing, how he's taking off and... Uh, yeah everything so this is like pixie fresh uh, from the box like of course he has walked and warmed up and everything but we have not done anything with him to optimize him or anything like that so you see he's a little bit fresh and happy here because he really really loves to jump and yeah lothar is just studying and i am riding and yeah he tells me to do different distances and here we are just talking what we should do and how it is. So after doing some jump with Pixu, the girls are like preparing him for doing a block. And here we can admire Inge's ass. It's very good, Inge. She's doing her squats. So Pixu is waiting in his block in his box after they blocked out his uh, some kind of joint. And I'm walking around with Quinn because soon the vet is going to come here and check out him too. So it's very interesting because now we are like optimizing how they are jumping and see if there is something that we can change and make better to have more quality in the jump and make the horse more comfortable. Now we are doing the exact same thing with Quinn. So Lothar is studying and I'm galloping around doing the vertical now it's really low so then i come really really slow and try to keep him straight so since um quinn had a broken hind leg when i got him he was always jumping a lot to the left so i always try to get him to stay on the right now because even though he doesn't have pain anymore uh, knock on wood um he still like has put it in like a systematic thing to land on the left side so that's why i really like always have to try to make him land straight or land a little bit more to the right and now you see when the vertical was a little bit higher that i was galloping more forward but when it was low i was riding really really slow and yeah here is even bigger and yeah this is the queen fresh out from the stable he just did warm up and you will get to see and compare how he jumps after we blocked a little bit afterwards um yeah so that's it coming again here on the oxer he is actually fighting a little bit with a bit but did a good jump anyway i would have to say now i'm back on Pixu and we're going to see if his jumps and push-ups are any different after he had the block so exciting uh, why we do that is because sometimes the horse can have like a little pain in a little joint that you normally don't read or think about but it can cause him to lose power in the takeoff and if you like uh, fix that the power can come back and like Pixu is 17 so I want to know that perhaps he doesn't jump with so much power anymore because he's older or it can be because he has um, a little bit of pain now it's Pixie's turn again after getting some blocks and then Lothar tells me that I have to land on the inside leg and that's what I'm doing now. I think it's easier to land on the inside leg if you're turning a little bit shorter after the jump. So you can see that's what I'm doing now here. I land on the inside leg so I just continue straight and yeah. I think that he jumps really good. Uh, he jumped good before the block too, but uh, now I think he jumps even better. So, like, my feeling is that me, we maybe have to do the hooks because we haven't done the hooks on him in a really, really long time. So it might be a good idea to redo them. And, yeah, that's basically it.
So now it's Quinn again, Quinn's turn to jump. And you can see here, I still kept him on the right, but now Lotter is going to say that he wants me to get him to land on the inside leg. So even though I'm on the left right now, I'm letting him turn a little bit to the left, which he really loves because he really put that into a system. So that's like <laughs> his favorite thing to go a little bit to the left. I think that, oh my God, that I missed it. But anyway, I think that he is jumping good now. I think he jumped good before also. But you will see on a really big vertical that is like 170 in the end of the video that he's actually jumping a lot better with his blocks. And um, he also needs a little bit of treatment in the high knees to really open up and have full power uh, in his takeoff and open up with the hind legs so now i think i'm going to do a little bit of a bigger vertical and i think he jumps really good if you compare how he jumps uh now compared to how he jumps without the block i think that he jumps a lot a lot better now so okay but he's always good i mean my horses are always good but surely i think he needs to do his high knees jumps and the whole team of wet was basically watching and yeah afterwards we're gonna see if he's yeah like he's gonna do a scan and see the status of their tendons after jumping and then see if he's gonna have some treatment <laughs> we love each other <laughs> what kind of is this so what we are doing now is uh, ultrasound tissue characterization. It's a machine that has uh, the capacity of uh, characterize uh, different types of tendon binders. So it can tell us not only if there is a lesion or not, but uh, also what is, uh, what is the stage of the lesion, if it's chronic or acute, but also what is the quality of uh, the fibers within the lesion, around the lesion. It helps us a lot in managing tendinitis in horses to be able to put them back to work as soon as possible. And welcome to another day. In this day, I'm going to start my day by going and trying the horses from the collection auction that I talked about in the beginning of the video. And I'm gonna see if they can film when I ride and I'm going to like post as many of them um, yeah, as they film. And that's basically it. So what's left for me to do now is just go and yeah, I'm really excited to see them. This is the first of the auction horses I tried. He's five years old. And when I try other people's horses, I always try to be very careful with them, very nice with them. I don't want to do anything that is unusual for them because they are animals. Yeah, you guys know that, but they have feelings and they are used to be in one system. And I don't think horses think it's especially fun to be tried by a lot of different people because Horses are habit animals and they prefer to have the same person every day. So when I go to try a horse, I just really, really try to be nice with the horse and the people who own it. And if I don't feel that this is like the perfect horse for me, I don't try a lot and I just tell them that. And I also don't feel the need to jump over extensive high with horses that I try because you don't know each other. And as long as you know that the horse has scope and capacity, it's no reason to just jump high to jump high. You should jump high with a horse when you guys know each other and have become a team. So I didn't jump high with him anyway. He's just five. So he just needs to grow and get older. And yeah, he's already, of course, a super horse. And the auction was, uh, really cool thing and they had a lot of like nice horses and a big catalog yeah so anyway i'm gonna be quiet now so you can watch me jump with this horse
And now I'm on a seven-year-old chestnut gelding, and you guys know that I have a soft spot for chestnut gelding. And this one is really, really cute. It's built a little bit more downhill than the five-year-old, but anyway, such a positive attitude. And I mean, both or all the horses, like the auction horses, were so well educated that it was really a pleasure. And it's very exciting to see which one that I will hopefully get. So yeah, I'm just going to be quiet and watch when I'm trying this horse that was so freaking sweet. I jumped a little bit more with him because, you know, he's seven. So with a five-year-old, I was really like, okay, minimizing the jumps that I took because he's only five. And I want to take in consideration that, that it's a baby. But this one was seven. So then I felt that I could try a little bit more. And now I'm back at Ekitam giving veterinary Roberto a lesson and it went really good as you can hear me shouting bra bra all the time or super. <laughs> wasn't really anything for me so but the auction horses were really good and um, i'm just like hanging out right now i gave Beto a lesson and now i'm just together with alfie and mario since they are going to stay here alfie is eating his hay and basically that is hello wim hello. how is it going with pixu hey pixu Getting new shoes by the master. Wow! Now Pixie is finished with chewing. And here you see Mario's box. And there is Alfie. And here is Pixie's box. He lives with Quinn next door. Now, um, now I'm preparing some Greek water for the horses so they can and uh, get it before we are going to drive home tonight. Now I'm back from Belgium and I'm ready to do the um, winner of the giveaway. So I have basically uh, listed all of the names on paper, all of the 50 finalists. So it's very excited, exciting. And Soon, now I'm going to cut them in pieces like and put them in this bowl and draw a winner uh, but before I do that I have gotten my order from and um, yeah so I thought I was gonna show you what I got they came in a big box so I have basically just opened the box and put them in a blue bag and maybe I should just drop it on the screen right now what I ordered so you can see here you can see the email, the order confirmation of the stuff that I ordered. And yeah, you see that I took a bit of a different sizes and you can see the prices and everything. Yeah, we are back. As you see, I took like a lot of different sizes because a lot of S was sold out. So I just like saw what I liked and I just like, I took that even though it was a big size. So here's the first thing. This is a... Uh, bikini but I was thinking that I more could use this like as a sport top I think it looks nice quality feels good price was really good over to the next thing this is one of those shirts that I took in size L or was it M I'm not sure exactly this one is XL actually but I thought like it looked so beautiful and soft so I just wanted to take it anyway. Maybe I can like, either I will use it for riding in the winter when I need to have a lot under or I give it away to someone. Quality feels good. 
And what is this? I can have a bit of a cold. Uh, this is a crop top, tie dye. And here we have, I think these are sweatpants. No, it's not sweatpants. It's another one of these. This one is in size M. Nice too. Here we have sweatpants in an incredible color, I have to say. I also took these in a really big size. Because, I mean, if I'm going to extra large, if I'm going to wear sweatpants, I want it to be really big and comfy. Over to the next. This is also a bikini, but I thought I would just use this one as a crop top to the tights when I'm riding. And yeah, these are the pants from the other bikini. Don't know how they got back in the bag. Here we have another tie-dye crop top really really love the colors of this one and one last thing two last things actually start with a small bag and here we have another bikini again also tie-dye you can see that i really have jumped on the tie-dye trend tie-dye pants and skirt and under as last more sweatpants and these are also in the size extra large so now I'm just gonna cut up all the um, finalists and put them in the bowl and get that <coughs> Get ready to draw them just after I cleaned up that. This is the first set that I'm trying on from Shane. Um, I just kept my bra and my underpants under because obviously I haven't washed it yet. And uh, yeah, because it just came. And I think the quality is good. I think it looks cute and uh, very price worthy. So totally recommend. This is the next bikini I got. And I also think this one looks like it's good quality it suits me well and with a bra under it looks like i have huge boobs guys this is the third and last bikini i got and i'm not gonna use this one as a bikini i'm gonna use this just like a crop top for the tights when i'm riding i have changed into one of the sweatpants and the sweatpants look like this and one of these big shirts and the big shirt is really very comfortable i think i'm going to if i'm going to keep it for myself make it a little bit tighter around the arms the sweatpants i'm probably gonna wear low waist but you can also wear them high waist and good i would say this is the green top so this is size medium the other one was in size l and it's like both of them are some velour uh, fabric like some velvet and this has some stripes in between the other one is more plain um so this one is medium the other one was xl i don't think that there's a big change in the size and it's nice i think all the names are in the bowl now i don't know if you can see them but here there are 50 names and now i'm just gonna like toss around and just pick one and this is the winner i'm gonna contact you on instagram soon tamara gefeller congratulations and for everybody else that didn't win i'm going to do this giveaway more often i just would like that my youtube make a little bit more money first so that i can give more back to you guys because i would also like to take you guys shopping when i come here for the moment i think we have only saved uh, like made 40 dollars 
or something like that. Um, my vision for the channel would be that I, for example, can pay wet bills for you guys. I can maybe um, sponsor a vacation or a tour to Oliva to the show. Or if you like, for example, live in um, United States that you, for example, can go to Wellington for that winter equestrian festival or something like that. Like that would be the dream. So uh, let's see how the YouTube goes, but for sure, um, to make money on ads is not the easiest apparently since i mean okay i don't have so many subscribers and not so many watch hours but what is smart to do is to like include some lifestyle thing in the video so that we can maybe have a video sponsored by for example vella or naked or h&m or whatever so that it would be like could generate money in that way so i can give more back to you um, yeah, that's basically what I wanted to say. <laughs> and thank you guys so much for um, watching my videos. And yeah, I really appreciate it. And I hope that I can meet a lot of you guys soon. Next top on, this one is a little bit see-through, but I don't think that matters. And I have the pink sweatpants on. And I also like these ones, like you can decide if you want to wear them high waist, like a lot of people like or more relaxed just like this low waist and they also feel really good i think perhaps the material in the black ones are a little bit thicker but i have to say i love this tie-dye crop top i think it's really beautiful I think it's really cute and yeah I really like it I probably will maybe cut off these so that I don't have that hanging down or maybe just like sew them together so it's like that um, anyway thank you guys so much for watching this video and see you guys next week give this video a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to my channel and drop a comment if you have time uh what else yeah in next week with you i'm going to present you guys uh the new horse that i have bought and yeah stay safe everyone thank you so much for watching